Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So normally when I start a video off with no makeup on, I'm usually talking about skincare. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna be talking about the new Ole Henriksen Fat Glow Facial Mask. Now if you haven't seen the packaging, this is what the packaging looks like on the box. And I will show you obviously what it looks like inside as well if you haven't already seen it. Now as you can see, it's a pretty decent size packaging. You're getting 50 mils of product. And this Fat Glow Facial Mask is supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles, it's supposed to clear acne, dark spots, past acne marks, it's supposed to smooth your overall texture on your skin so that it's more smooth and it's not going to be so rough in certain areas, and it's supposed to give you a glow appearance at the very end. So I'm really excited to try this product, I've never tried it before, so today's going to be the first time that I'm going to be trying it, and I'm going to be doing it with you guys today, and I couldn't wait to use this, so it took everything out of me to save this product for this video to give you a first impression impressions video on this. So we're going to be doing that today. Now I do want to let you know that Ole Henriksen did gift me this product, but I'm pretty transparent with you guys. I always give you guys unbiased reviews. So if I hate this product, I'm going to tell you. And if I love this product, I'm also going to tell you. So I only give my most honest opinions and reviews on here. So just know that I'm going to be super honest with you guys. And I'm going to let you know at the very end whether I would recommend this product to you and if it's worth your money. So this this does have to stay on your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to put this on my skin and while it's sitting on my skin I'm going to tell you about the product, what's in the product, what it can do for your skin and whatnot. But let's get started. So the directions say to apply an even layer to a clean dry face, which I do. I don't have anything on my skin right now. Massage it until it transforms from pink to white. Now I did do my research that when you do start to see it turning white on your skin, that's when the actual ingredients is in this mask is starting to work is when you see it turn white. Then you're going to leave it on for 15 minutes. Remove it with a damp cloth and then use it two times per week, day or night. So right now it's morning and I have a lot of errands to run today and I've been really itching to use this mask so badly. So we're filming this in the morning so I'm using it right now in the morning but you can use it at night time too. So let's get right into this product. So like I said, I've never used it before. It's got a really nice pump at the top and I'm going to probably do maybe two pumps to start. So maybe I'll start with that amount right there. So that's the amount that I have to start with. And it's like a pink salmon color. And oh my god, it's like toothpaste. Look at that. It's like toothpaste, you guys. That is very interesting. Can you see that? Very, very interesting. So we'll see how this applies on the skin. Okay. So the smell is really nice. It kind of reminds me of the smell of my toner, like a a lemonade. I have the Ole Henriksen Dark Spot Toner and this is what it smells like. So I'm using my viewfinder as always to apply this. And I think I'm gonna need more for my forehead. And it's already starting to go white I think. So before it starts to go white, I'm going to apply a little bit more. Just one extra pump. And I'm just gonna focus that on my forehead. Oh my God, this is literally like toothpaste. It's not exactly the easiest to rub into the skin because it's pretty thick. So it says to rub it in for a little bit until it turns all white. And you're activating the ingredients while you're doing this. And this is going to help exfoliate the skin as well as help with acne and dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles. If you have dry skin, this is also going to help because it's going to exfoliate your skin as well. Now I'm not going anywhere near my eyes. I don't put masks anywhere near my eyes, especially if there is an exfoliant in this, which there is because there's PHAs in this, which will touch base when this is sitting on my skin and we're waiting for that 15 minutes to be done. I'll talk to you about what PHAs are in just a second. So I don't have any sensations going on on my skin. It doesn't feel cold. It doesn't feel tingly yet. I don't know if it's supposed to feel tingly, but I don't experience tingling right now. And it just feels like a really thick paste on my skin and that's about it. 
but it does feel kind of hydrating, which is pretty nice. But it is so thick, you guys. Like, it's like glue. It's literally like glue. So I don't know how this is going to be when I wash it off, but I feel like it's not really turning white on me. Let me check in my mirror here. Yeah, like I feel like it's still pink on me. Like some areas are really pink. And I did put a decent amount on my face, so I don't know what to do here. Should I put more on? I don't know. Maybe I will. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I'm just gonna do one extra pump, just like that. And I'm gonna try adding more. Cause it's not turning white on me. And it's hard to tell my viewfinder. Like I feel like it's white right now when I'm putting this on. I can't get over how sticky this is, you guys. Like, it's literally like glue. You know, like when you're a kid and you were in public school and you had like that white Elmer's glue? Like, it feels like I'm putting that on my skin right now. <sighs> but hey, if it's gonna give me glowing skin and help with fine lines and wrinkles, then it's worth it. So, it's still pink, I feel like, on me. texture though I can't get over it it's just so different I've never used a mask before that felt like this that had a texture like this it'll be interesting to see how this kind of dries up a little bit if it even dries up I don't even know okay I think that's as good as it's gonna get it did turn pretty white there's still some pink spots in certain areas but I feel like I'm gonna be here all day if I keep rubbing it in. So I'm going to leave it the way it is, go rinse my hands off, and then I'll be right back to review the product. All right, so I've just rinsed my hands off. My face really didn't stay white. It is still kind of pinky tone, and it's just the weirdest texture. I can't explain the feeling on my skin. I don't have any tingling on my skin. It doesn't feel cooling. It doesn't feel dry. Like, my face does feel pretty hydrated. So this product is good for all skin types, and if your concerns are fine lines and wrinkles, acne, dark spots, past acne marks, skin texture, and you're lacking brightness, then this mask is supposed to help with all of those needs. Now this is supposed to instantly exfoliate and illuminate with PHAs and Nordic Birch Sap. So the Nordic Birch Sap is supposed to help with hydration and moisture, and PHA stand for polyhydroxy acids. So you have your AHAs, then you have your BHAs, and then you have your PHAs. So the differences between all of them is that PHAs have a larger molecule of an exfoliation, so they're more gentle, they're not as harsh as your BHAs and your AHAs. So if you're somebody that can't tolerate AHAs and BHAs, then you're gonna wanna start incorporating PHAs in your skincare routine. So they have a larger molecule of an exfoliation, you're not gonna get as irritated and dry dry on your skin like the other ones. People who have cystic acne, chronic acne, and oily skin. So if you have all of that, you're gonna wanna incorporate a BHA, which is your beta hydroxy acid in your skincare routine, which is your salicylic acid. And then your AHAs is your alpha hydroxy acid, and that is your glycolic and your lactic acids. Do you experience some tingling when you use those products? You may experience some dryness, some irritation, redness, as well as dry skin because it's stronger exfoliant on your skin. So I do incorporate a glycolic acid in my skin carotene, which I have the toner, which I have the Ole Henriksen Dark Spot Toner, which has that glycolic and lactic in there. And then if you're somebody with a lot of acne, then you may want to go with the salicylic acid, which is your BHAs. So there is three levels of acids. Now this has the largest molecule exfoliant acid in this mask, so it's going to be a little bit more gentle 
gentle on your skin and not as harsh. When you first put the mask on your skin, it does have that pink salmon color. That is actually called pink bentonite clay, which helps clarify and renew your skin. Now this product is also formulated without parabens, sulfates, formaldehyde, as well as all of those other harmful ingredients that can cause your skin of irritations. All of those harmful ingredients are not going to be in this mask, which is really great. So this is considered a clean product at Sephora, which I'm all for. And it's also cruelty free and vegan, which I really love as well. And there's also chia seed oil, which is rich in essential fatty acids to help nourish and plump the skin with hydration. And there's also cotton extract in this as well, which is to help soften the skin. There's a lot of great ingredients in this mask, which I really like. It actually feels pretty hydrating on the skin and so far, it feels good on my skin. I just don't know if it needs to look white. So I'm a little confused. So you saw the way I did it. I'm pretty sure that I did it correctly. It did say a thin layer. I did start with a thin layer and I added more just to see and I still have the same result. So I don't know. But anyways, my 15 minutes is probably up. So I'm going to go and get a damp washcloth and I'm going to come back on here and remove it with you guys. Alright guys, so I do have a wet washcloth here and I'm going to wipe away the mask and we'll see what happens here. So yeah, it definitely still stayed pink on my washcloth as you can see there. It did go white a little bit but then it just kind of dried back down to the pink color that it started with. So I'm a little confused on that there but anyways. I'm not too concerned. It did say that when it goes white, that's just when the ingredients are activating. So I'm sure that everything was all activated while I left it on for the 15 minutes. I think that's just to let you know that it's starting to work on your skin. Now my face really does feel nice and hydrated. This didn't dry down to uh, a clay or anything like that. It still remained pretty sticky on the skin the whole time. So I'm just going to see if I got it all off here. So my skin definitely looks a lot more brighter. It does have a bit of a glow to it, but nothing crazy. My pores still look the same. They still look like the same size. I do have a nice glow to my skin. My skin definitely feels really soft and I do have a nice glow going on. So I do like that. My skin definitely feels hydrated. I don't feel tight and I don't feel too moisturized either, but I feel hydrated, if you know what I mean. So it's very comfortable. I really like the feeling of my skin right now, but nothing crazy happened to my skin, which is probably a good thing, but I'm sure if you use this twice a week for several weeks and going forward, you'd probably see more of a difference in the skin over time, but just after one application, you're not gonna see drastic results because I definitely did not. I do have a little bit of a glow going on to my skin and I definitely feel really hydrated which I really like. So they say this is really good to do before you apply your makeup. It's supposed to be a great base and to prep your skin for a full face and makeup. And then it's also great to use at nighttime as well to prep your skin for bedtime and to allow all of your other products to go on top really well. So I'm not going to know how that works out until I try it at night time one day this week coming up. So I will try it again and I'll definitely use the product. The texture was really really weird and applying it to the skin was definitely odd. It was really odd. It, it's not a mask that I've ever tried before. I'm used to masks that stay wet on your skin without tackiness. I've tried ones that are like clay. I actually did a review a couple of months ago on the Ole Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. If you haven't seen this video, I'll definitely link it below for you or up here. And this mask is really blue in color and this is supposed to give you a nice hydration feel. It's supposed to minimize your pores, make them smaller, and it's good for all skin types as well. 
Now if I were to compare the Cold Plunge Mask to the Fat Glow Facial Mask, I think I like this one better. I like the way it goes on, I like the cooling effect it gives, and I just like the way my skin looks after I'm done with this product. My skin looks really glowy, and my pores are definitely minimized. I don't have a lot of pores, but the pores that I do have around here and my chin, they definitely look smaller. So would I purchase this product? I don't think I personally would. I mean, I'm gonna use this product up, of course, but. I definitely don't think that I'm going to purchase this after I'm done with this product. I think that I have better results and I like the way the cold plunge mask goes on better. This just had a weird texture and, and it was really hard to rub into my skin as well. But overall, like my face feels really good. It does feel hydrated. That is a good thing. I love masks that give hydration. I don't like masks that strip all of the hydration off your skin. This won't do that. You're still gonna have really nice hydrated skin. The only downfall on this mask is the texture and how gummy and gluey it is. I just didn't like that part. This actually does go hand in hand with the Ole Henriksen Dark Spot Toner, the serum, as well as the Good Night Cream as well. They all have AHAs in it. So this goes hand in hand with those products. So if you were to use all of those products with this, it would probably be really nice. It might be too much if you have sensitive skin because it does have AHAs in it but because this is a larger molecule of the PHA you might be able to tolerate it a lot better because it's not going to penetrate as far down into the deeper layers of your skin as an AHA or a BHA would. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you found this video helpful. Of course everybody has their own thoughts and opinions on products and this is my own personal thoughts on this mask. Overall it's a good mask. It feels really nice and hydrating and nourishing on the skin. Skin. It really does make my skin feel nice and soft. I just did not like the texture, but overall it's not a bad product And if you want to try something that has lower strength acid like a PHA Then I would definitely recommend this mask to try and see if your skin can tolerate that type of exfoliating acid So if you have any questions leave them below like you've been doing and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. So take care and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys